Hello, Tom at DSC Sport here. This is a video for the data record function in the DSC Tuner software. The purpose of this function is for diagnostics to see the input and output and verify that the system is working as intended. We typically do a log of two minutes or less. This way it doesn't overload the buffer when you are logging this data. If you have someone sitting in the passenger seat with you, you can also look at these data live. Before we go about with the data logging process, let's first confirm we have the inputs that we want to record selected. So at this point, you should have your PC connected to your DSC with the cable. We'll do a reset board just to make sure we have connection. We do. And now we go to config data log. Here you have a bunch of submenus. Don't select all because that will be way too much information. It will just crash the buffer in the laptop. So uh, of all of these inputs, there's only about six or seven of them at the most. We want to select and record at the same time. So for each shock here, left front, Right front, right rear, left rear. I want to expand each one. Now, if you happen to have a DSC controller that's one or two years old, all of these desired inputs should already be pre-selected. We're just confirming. This is a new controller that I plugged into. So these desired inputs are already selected. So for each shock, right front, left front, right rear, left rear, we should only have the current out selected. The current out is the actual command to each shock. It's uh, expressed in milliamps. Now that we have each one of the current out selected for each shock, we want to verify that the brake pressure is selected. But with this selected, uh, on vehicles with DSC CAN integration, all you have to do is push down on the brake pedal and you'll be able to see the activity. You don't even need to start the engine. You could do this with the ignition on, or at least this part, just checking the brake pressure, as well as the uh, Excel TPS. So with the ignition on, on the DSC CAN integrated vehicle, you should be able to blip the gas pedal and see the TPS, which is the throttle position sensor activity. Next one is speed. The only one that should be selected is the one that check here, speed, which is the actual vehicle speed. You'll be able to see uh, from a standing start, once you put five or 10 or 20 miles per hour in the parking lot, you will be able to see the speed move. And that is it. These are the basic inputs to record so you have one for each shock which is the current out so that makes four inputs brake that's five excel that's the uh, gas pedal and speed so that is a total of seven inputs so don't log any more than seven inputs if you have a current dsc controller these inputs should already be pre-selected In order to do the DSC data record function, the DSC must be installed in the car. First we'll start the engine, and then we'll connect the cable between your DSC to the PC. You always want to start the engine before you connect to your DSC, and then open the DSC software. Now we're connected. We'll go to Tools, Reset Board, just to make sure we have communication. And then Tools, Record Data. This will open up a new window. And in the bottom of this window, you have different icons. You have uh, the uh, square to stop. And then you have the circle over here. This is the symbol to start recording. 
but once we select start record we'll start driving in this parking lot and look at the uh, change of pattern to determine that this system is functioning as intended we have started the record new window just popped up now we're going to look at brake pressure for vehicles with can capability we'll just hit the brake you can see just by pumping the brakes that this pattern is changing and just as a secondary check we'll give the gas pedal some blip here you can see that the throttle position is also working so the can system is communicating with the DSC and the next thing we're going to look at is the shock current out so these are the output commands to the shocks right now they're at zero because we're standing still so we're going to start driving and you will be able to see a change in pattern and we don't even have to leave the parking lot so there they're working i'm going to hit the brake and i'm going to start driving again come to a stop again there is that pattern change that we're looking for so in this car the DSC is working as intended now we will stop this recording It will take a few seconds for the commands to catch up because of the buffer in the PC. Turn the engine off and we can save this file. I'm going to use today's date as the name of the file. and I can look at this file on my desktop should I choose to. Or if you have someone sitting in a passenger seat, they can look at the data live and let you know that the system is working as intended.